Thank you so much for singing along. Our offering for this week, as I mentioned earlier, is for Refugee Sunday. Um, refugees during this particular crisis are even more vulnerable than ever. And uh, the good folks at World Renew are, are stepping up their efforts to help out refugees both here in Canada and abroad. Um, and, uh, and so please do check out that information about what they are doing. Now, let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for bringing us together, even though it is uh, virtually. Lord, we are, we are so grateful for uh, modern technology. Lord, uh, we know that it is a double-edged sword and that there are tremendous risks and difficulties involved in uh, in in various technologies in this world, but we are also so grateful at a time like this that we can uh, get together and, uh, and be with one another in fellowship uh, even though we are not physically together. Lord, we pray for uh, the many churches in, uh, in this area. We pray for all of the churches in Athens and Addison, and we pray for all of the churches throughout Ontario and throughout Canada and throughout the world as people deal with uh, not only uh, the threat of COVID-19, but also as people deal with um, all of the fallout from it, all of the effects that it is having on our uh, society. Father, we pray too for our leaders, both in government and in healthcare. We pray for all of our frontline workers, hospital workers, uh, doctors and nurses and respirologists and uh, paramedics as well. Lord, we pray for police officers and firefighters, all those people who are um, who are working on a daily basis um, in in realms that could be very dangerous. But Lord, uh, we also lay before you. Uh, those who are working in essential services, Lord, we think particularly of uh, grocery workers, of cashiers and stock clerks and so on. Uh, Lord, we pray that you would protect them as we have already seen and heard of those who have uh, passed away due to uh, COVID-19 in uh, those industries. Lord, we pray too for all the businesses, the small businesses throughout this world, uh, throughout Canada, who have, uh, who have been basically shut down or who are suffering such a tremendous loss of income. Lord, we pray that you would protect them. We thank you so much for the work that the government is trying to do uh, to help them out. And, and Lord, regardless of, of whether we agree with every detail of what they are doing, we are thankful that our government leaders are uh, really striving to serve the people of Canada at this time. Lord, we pray too that you will be with all those not only in our congregation but throughout uh, this area and this world who are, uh, who are particularly vulnerable uh, because they are, uh, they are elderly or because they are uh, immunocompromised or because they have uh, diseases that, uh, that make them particularly vulnerable. Uh, Lord, uh, even, Lord, we think of uh, the very young uh, who, who may be immunocompromised, uh, anybody. Lord, we just ask, please, would you please give your mercy and protection upon them? We ask, too, O oh God, uh, that, that you would be praised and glorified in this time. Lord, it is difficult and people don't know what to expect and people don't know what is coming. And, and Lord, we just long for your healing touch on this world. But Lord, we long also that if, O oh God, you miraculously intervene and shut down this virus and, and take it away, O oh God, we just pray that you would be acknowledged as the one who has done so. Would it not be that people scratch their heads and look around and go, well, that was weird, or, oh, what a great job the, the healthcare people did in shutting it down, or aren't we so great for social distancing properly, but instead, Lord, may your name be praised. And God, if this, uh, if this continues to be a cross that we need to bear, 
as a society, as a world. Lord, may even so, may we turn to you. May we look to you as our hope, for we know, O oh God, that as difficult as it is to comprehend, there are things in this world that are, that are more important than whether we live or die. And you, O oh God, are the one who is more important than my life or death or anyone else's. And so, Lord, may we, together with Christ followers throughout this world, may we love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and may we love our neighbor as ourselves. Lord, regardless of who our neighbor, neighbor is, regardless of what they believe, regardless of how they behave, regardless of, of where they come from or anything, O oh God, help us to love our neighbors. Help us to be creative in how we do that. And help us to, in the fellowship of believers, to encourage one another to love our neighbors. Lord, we pray to that as we head to your scriptures, that you would open our hearts and minds, that we would hear what you would have us hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.